Undersea volcano, the axial seamount off northwest coast is erupting. It's on the Juan de Fuca plate, the subduction zone off the coast of Oregon and Washington. This is uh, by Oregon State University article on Science Daily. And the axial seamount is an active underwater volcano located about 300 miles off the coast of Oregon and Washington. It appears to be erupting after two scientists had forecast that such an event would take place in 2015. This is a 2015 article. But we've seen various quakes there lately, and they're pretty big. Some of them for around 6, 5.9, 6.2, etc. And uh, some have been felt. Some have been felt even though it's far off the coast. We had a 4.1 on the 5th. We had a 5.9 on uh, the 5th again. And 4 on the 9th. The Axial Seamount, an active underwater volcano about 300 miles off the coast of Oregon and Washington, appears to be erupting. Geologists Bill Chadwick of Oregon State University and Scott Nooner of University of North Carolina, Wilmington, made their forecast in September during a public lecture, followed it up with blog posts and a reiteration of their forecast just last week, this is of course 2015, in a scientific workshop. They based their forecast on some of their previous research funded by the National Science Foundation, NSF, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, which showed how the volcano inflates and deflates like a balloon in a repeatable, repeatable pattern as it responds to the magma being fed into the seamount. Since last Friday, the region has experienced thousands of tiny quakes, a sign that magma is moving towards the surface. Well, we didn't see tiny quakes this past week. We saw big quakes. Now, um, they said that magma is moving towards the surface and the seafloor dropped by 2.4 meters, or nearly 8 feet, also a sign of magma being withdrawn from a reservoir beneath the summit. Instrumentation recording the activity is part of the NSF-funded Ocean Observatories Initiative. William Wilcock of the University of Washington first observed the earthquakes. Quote, it isn't clear yet whether the earthquakes and deflation at Axial are related to a full-blown eruption, or if it's only a large intrusion of magma that hasn't quite reached the surface. This is what Chadwick explained, who works out of OSU's Hatfield Marine Science Center at Newport, and also is affiliated with NOAA's Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory. He says, there are some hints that lava did erupt, but we may not know for sure until we can get out there with a ship. In any case, the researchers say, such an eruption is not a threat to coastal residents. The earthquakes at Axial Seamount are small, and the seafloor movements gradual, and thus cannot cause a tsunami. Okay, that was 2015. Again, 2019, as we said, we had this just, just a few days ago, the uh, 5.9, I'm looking at my size more Berkeley here, uh, because you can get at these earthquakes very quickly. Uh, the Axial Seamount Volcano, now I put in, I got in too fast. Okay. Here we are. The, the uh, 5.9 was on September 5th at 10 kilometers depth. The 4.1 was again September 5th at 10 kilometers depth. And then you had September 5th again at 3.7 magnitude, 10 kilometers depth. So that was a swarm there. And September 9th, we had a 4 magnitude at 10 kilometers depth. Now, I don't know, when you see them at 10 kilo or 7, it's because usually they don't know, they don't know how deep it is. But uh, that's, that's the seismicity there, and they're not small. When you're talking about 5.9, that's not at all small. Now, going back to the article. Uh, in any case, the researcher says such an eruption is not a threat. Earthquakes at Axial Seamount are small. That's not so today. And the seafloor movement is gradual and thus cannot cause a tsunami. 
Now, she says, uh, he says, I have to say, I was having doubts about the forecast even the night before the activity started, Chadwick said. We did not have any real certainty that it would take place. It was more of a way to test our hypothesis that the pattern we have seen was repeatable and predictable. Axial Seamount provides scientists with an ideal laboratory, not only because of its close proximity to the west northwest coast, but for its unique structure because Axial is on very thin ocean crust. Its plumbing system is simpler than at most volcanoes on land that are often complicated by other factors related to having a thicker crust, said Chadwick, who is the adjunct professor at OSU's College of Earth's Ocean and Atmospheric Sciences. And he says, thus, Axial can give us insights into how volcanic magma systems work and how eruptions might be predicted. Axial Seamount last erupted in 2011, and that event was loosely forecast by Chadwick and Nooner, who had said in 2006 that the volcano would erupt before 2014, and they were right, erupted in 2011. Since the 2011 eruption, additional research led to a refined forecast that the next eruption would be in 2015, based on the fact that the rate of inflation had increased about 400% since the last eruption. It had inflated 400%. He says, we've learned that the supply rate of magma has a big influence on the time between eruptions, Nooner said. When the magma rate was lower, it took 13 years between eruptions. But now, when the magma rate is high, it took only four years. Okay, so now, what does this say? It says that this area is filling with magma. The magma is rushing into this area which is just off the west coast. Chadwick and Nooner were scheduled to go back to Axial in August to gather more data, but it may be possible for other researchers to visit the seamount on an expedition as early as May, and they hope to confirm the eruption and, if so, measure the volume of lava involved. Evidence that was key to the successful forecast came in the summer of 2014 via measurements taken by colleagues Dave Cares and Dave Clagg, of Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute and Mark Zumberg and Glenn Sasogawa of Scripps Oceanographic Institutes. Those measurements showed the high rate of magma inflation was continuing. So this is from the Oregon State University titled Undersea Volcan Volcano Axial Seamount off Northwest Coast is Erupting and it's on Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.